this is how I wander into every LP we do. <laughs> <laughs> It's how Chorps keep, keeps getting us into these things. Like we walk out of a door and then we come out in a dingy hallway somewhere. I mean, he basically looks like the Blobby Man and just like the Blobby <laughs> Man, he also gets mad about cartoons online. Not nearly as tall, though. So are we like shoved into the bathroom now? <laughs> well, let's uh, we'll check the other door and we'll find out if that's true. This is also how my bathroom looks. <laughs> it's got a bus in it. Yep. It's very spacious. Alyssa's house is actually like, it's like Peach's Castle from Mario 64. It's just an elaborate hub world. <laughs> <laughs> they said instead of paintings, it's doors to bathrooms. Right. Every bathroom's a new world. <laughs> I'm going on a bathroom adventure, mum. You know, so many video games, people are like, oh, where's the bathroom in it? When do they go to the bathroom? Well, now we know. All the bathrooms were just used up in Clock Tower 3. Hell, you know what? I know it's controversial, but World War 1? One giant bathroom, if you ask me. I mean, I'm sure Alyssa's uh, used the bathroom plenty of times now. That's actually how she relieves the panic meter. Right. <laughs> Oh boy, we're gonna get some sicko commenting with that joke, Jay. And it was me, the Bobby Man. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to uh, welcome back to gameplay. We definitely are not in our house anymore. Are you sure? Welcome to 1942. <laughs> Again, are you sure? <laughs> oh, this is actually a subtle reference to another classic Capcom game. That's right. In this game, the Scissor Man, Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, the only men were sick and twisted in the Barrows family. <laughs> <laughs> Is this for me? Are you proposing? But it's so soon. <laughs> <laughs> you could be a little more excited about this, you know? <laughs> Look, you're supposed to get on one knee, not on your face. I, I admire the dedication, but it's a little much. So, welcome to our first spirit. Uh, these are, like, kind of... and they're, they're enemies. Oh, is there any change? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they haunt around the area of a dead body. And the way that we exercise them is we find a sentimental item that they lost when they died, and we return it to them. Okay, so it's more like a little adventure game puzzle than, like, a true enemy. Yeah, but you your panic meter does go up if you get hit by the spirit, so it does negatively affect you if you're, like, not careful. So uh -huh. do you think, like, they accidentally, like, put the ring in the in the coin slot? Like, just <laughs> try to- Like, oh, I need to tell my mom about this. <laughs> so yeah, so- um, you're not required to do any of these. These are all optional and just give you, like, additional items. Right. But I thought I should, I'd do that. You're just, a nice guy, though. Right, yeah. No, I... Look, I'm already here. Might as well help them out. Oh, whoa, now I get a free ring. <laughs> <laughs> just, just rob the body again. <laughs> hey, if you like it, why don't you put a sigil stone on it? <laughs> So we have a lavender water, which will reduce our panic meter very fast. And our sigil stone, if we if our panic meter is full, we can die. And that'll protect us from death once. So do you think she like rubs the lavender water on her, or is it something you drank her? Uh it's definitely like a it's definitely like an herbal remedy. You just put it on your skin. Uh she's like, uh, this is definitely holy water. Well yeah, it's coming from a lion drinking fountain. <laughs> You knew about ah, it. those cans rule. So, that's actually also important. In parts of this game, you may have to uh, be sneaky and not draw attention, and things on the ground like cans, if you kick them over, will draw attention. And if you step hmm. on a rake, it really sends up your panic meter. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, of course. So, we, we've deduced that the piano sound is coming from the piano hall down there. Or the concert hall. And so... Uh, I mean, we got nowhere else to go. So I guess this is, um... Uh, what's it called? When, uh, music's in the environment? 
Diagenic uh, oh, sound. Uh, diagetic. Diagetic. Yep. It's exactly like that. And we heard that there is a piano concert going on from the uh, from the poster we checked out before. Right. That said World War II and slash piano show. Right. Also, we know that it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> Anyways, here's another spirit. And it seems like they have a notebook down there. Anyways, it's pretty easy to, like, dodge around the, the spirits. They're not, like... They have a pretty lazy chase pattern, but you just gotta be a little careful. Mm. Like, so does Piano Concert only has one song, huh? <laughs> well, look. Yeah, No, but she's ma- or the pianist has mastered this. <laughs> <laughs> you can also use Holy Water to, um, temporarily, uh, stop spirits from following you. <laughs> Just kind of look like you threw a glass of wine in her face, but okay. <laughs> a similar idea, I mean. I mean, that would stun me. <laughs> yeah, the piano recital is one of those where, like, everyone has to play the same song and they just kind of grade you on who's the best. Ah. Uh, so it, it's, like, a recital for, like, students, not, like, something you'd pay to go to. I guess. <laughs> I mean, if this is the only song playing. Pretty quaint, all things considered. You know, only two deadly spirits on the streets. Yeah, you know. Everything else seems pretty alright. You know, it's a nice night. Like, the snow's nice, there's piano music, only a yeah. couple ghosts. Yeah, I like how in World War II, London got bombed for all of five seconds, and it just targeted Alyssa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, like, two other people died. At least. <laughs> eh. There were misfires, you know? They were still aiming for Alyssa. <laughs> mm hmm Right. But yeah, so as we saw on that uh, tailor shop earlier, there's a, there's a sigil there that we could use our holy water on, but uh, forget that. We're going to the concert. Oh, I thought it said Notorious Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> the infamous Taylor. Well, I mean, like... A crazed tailor could be a clock tower enemy, I don't know. <laughs> I I guess you're right. Those guys use scissors, right? <laughs> Notorious Taylor with a T-A-Y is my wrestling name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as we get closer, the music gets louder, so we know we're going to the right place. Oh, this is like being stuck in the Lost Woods. If you take the wrong turn, you're back in World War II. <laughs> <laughs> right? It says, dress code enforced. <laughs> ah, jeez. Like, well, I guess we can't get in, guys. The only thing, you know, stronger than fear of death, fear of social faux pas. Right. And what does it turn out? The blobby man has two tickets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we have to go with him. Ugh. He's going to think it's like a thing. Ugh. Ugh. I hate that. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get, like, uh, he's gonna eat, like, hot wings at the concert and get French dressing all over his nice suit, <laughs> and you'll just be so embarrassed that that is the friend you're going with. <laughs> he's gonna order, like, two beers, and he's like, hey, Alyssa, I brought one, and you're gonna be like, uh, I'm underage, and he's like, oh, jeez, I'm just gonna have to drink them both, then. <laughs> <laughs> he does the same thing when he buys two hot dogs, though. <laughs> right? I'm not getting my trench coat messy, it's seasoning. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like the tailor's a little rundown. I mean, I get it, right? A lot of things happening in 1942. Turns out they were actually bombing England with uh, lavender water, so... But at least it smells nice, you know? So, this is a mechanic that'll come up a bit, and this is a, a hiding spot. This is me when Future Friend comes and bullies me. <laughs> uh, just keep those in mind you can hide from things I don't know what you'd need to hide from but you know Future options friends. there <laughs> oh yeah definitely the blobby man he's he's coming with his <laughs> extra ticket to the uh, to the concert and by extra ticket he means he knows a way to sneak in the back <laughs> right yeah. through the toilet of course I know the guy who uh, who owns the place he uh, arranges the concerts you know I can get a uh... If you want a seat behind the pillar, I'm your guy. 
If you want to somehow be under the stage while the concert's happening, I'm the man for you. I, too, also have a picture of myself right next to my bed, so it makes sense. <laughs> but but facing away from you, that's an important distinction, you know? Right. right. You don't want to seem too narcissistic, like you're just staring at yourself going like, hey, good looking. Yeah, but what do you really need it, though? Yeah, I have to put it face down whenever I record LPs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be judged when you're uh, committing a sin. <laughs> right. Huh. It's a lot of blood there. I'm sure it's fine. Must be the odors. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they're just painting. I don't know. It's awfully presumptuous of me. <laughs> the blobby man's been here and he just ate like barbecue chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Also, London air bombed. <laughs> <laughs> this well, no, that's that's third page news. Also, they're <laughs> really quick with this. Also, I like the name Paul Mall. Wasn't the, wasn't it Christmas Day now? Uh, it the Christmas Eve is the concert. I'm not sure. It's supposed to be a little after Christmas, I believe, or maybe Christmas Day. I don't know. When did they drop bombs on England? So, she did not win the piano concert. Wait, you can win that? Yeah. And, unfortunately, no one knows who killed her. <laughs> she was just found in Norton's Taylor, and nobody knows who would possibly be there. <laughs> uh, I think we found our man, guys. Hmm. Oh no, it was Sludger Man. <laughs> Uh, you're under citizen's arrest, but <laughs> she put on the oh oh mystery soul. <laughs> the well, okay. There we go. That was easy. Alisa. I mean, it's a nice little uh, crossover to get Astaroth into this. <laughs> Wow, he knows our name. He must be friends with the Blobby Man. This is the rumored Gallagher 3. <laughs> <laughs> and so, welcome to, I guess, like, the major gameplay portion of this game is that sometimes we're chased by a serial murderer. Ha well, we only saw him murder one person. Yeah, you gotta at least kill three. You're right. I'm sorry for judging. Y hey, it might have been in self-defense. You don't know. Aspiring <laughs> serial murderer. Right, thank you. We're chased by a murder man. Give me that much. <laughs> okay. And so we have options to hide and evade, which will come up in a bit. But first... We're gonna hit him with this drawer. <laughs> no, we're gonna get the room key to May's room. Uh, it seems a little insensitive. She just died, but you know. She would want us to have this. <laughs> if she had had time to write a will... So, um, even if the, you, the, uh, the murder man does not hit you with an attack, your, your panic meter still goes up a little bit, just not as much. He, like, like, mimes like he's gonna hit you, and you're just like, uh, <laughs> it's too for flinching. And, uh, and so he won't follow us in this room, so I guess we're just fine. Hey, he, somebody respects the dead around here. <laughs> You know, serial killers are, like, vampires. They can't go in anywhere unless you invite them in. <laughs> right. So yeah, we just get to, like, you know, let our panic meter fall a little bit and learn more about May. Is this, like, part of her type 5? <laughs> oh, so the panic meter falls when you're, like, reading files and such? No. It stays while you're reading files. We just get to stand around the room after we're done reading. Okay, because I was going to say, that seems an, like an oversight, maybe. <laughs> That's yeah, how no, you th know this game wasn't made by Europeans, by the way. European children all call their dads papa. <laughs> <laughs> well, like mum, they call dads duds. I already made that joke, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. He's decided he's sick of waiting for us. Are you still in there? <laughs> it's not a bathroom, I really need to use it. Anyways, now we get introduced to the evade points. Unlike hiding points, 
these are uh, a little more special, a little more unique. If Alyssa considered the door to be her escape route from the start, <laughs> I don't... Her chances are pretty fucking <laughs> slim. Uh, it worked out fine. I mean, I guess. He died. This is how we're finally gonna be able to destroy Gallagher once and for all. So, wait a minute. <laughs> like, the newspaper must be, like, really ahead of the times if they you called this murder before it happened. <laughs> right. So, the evade points are basically, like, temporary stops. Like, uh, until you leave the area that you're in, you will not be accosted by a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you leave, no, <laughs> no good chance there. You just have to deal with it. Anyways, I know we're getting chased, but, uh, you know, we, we need some holy water. I mean, it doesn't seem like this guy is very fast. Yeah, hell, we'll save while we're here, too. <laughs> He's very polite, like, he sees you're busy doing stuff, and, you know, y you gotta give him Alyssa that. Alyssa just <laughs> needs to, like, grab a super soaker, honestly. What, what <laughs> happened? He just leaves. Did he drink the, the holy water? He's <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> oh, I don't feel He's so like, good. He's like, I'm so thirsty. Oh, wait, this is holy water. You saw Alyssa spending so much time over there, and, you know, he figured there must be something about that water, you know. Wait, we did we get an invitation? We stole May's invitation. <laughs> Maybe it's a LaCroix fountain. Now we have to play piano, and Alyssa's like, Oh no, I don't know how! 